Good day, and welcome to Math 111H Calculus 1 Honors, The Joys of X. On today's show, we'll discuss the precise definition of a limit. Consider the limit of a function f of x as x goes to a, and suppose that limit is l. How can we prove that the limit is truly l? If the limit exists, then for any small value epsilon, we can find a region around x equal a, such that f of x lies within epsilon of the limit l. That is, that we can find a region around a, the yellow region, such that all the y values for any x in a minus delta to a plus delta, as is on the figure, that all the y values will lie between l minus epsilon and l plus epsilon. If the limit exists, then no matter what epsilon we pick, no matter how small our epsilon, we can find this a plus or minus delta region such that all the y values will lie within l minus epsilon and l plus epsilon. There's no y value in this region from a minus delta to a plus delta in x where the y value goes beyond this green region. Often we'll consider a symmetric region around x equal a and call the width of the region delta. That's just to make things more convenient. So if the region on one side is wider than on the other side, such that the y values are between L minus epsilon and L plus epsilon, we'll just choose the smaller of the two so that we can have a region from A minus delta to A plus delta. And that way, if we can do this for any epsilon that we choose, no matter how small, then the limit exists and we will have proven that L is the limit. Let's have a moment of math culture. There were two men in a hot air balloon. Soon they found themselves lost in a canyon somewhere because the air came out of the balloon and they slowly drifted into the canyon. One of the men said, I've got an idea. Let's call out for help in this canyon and the echo will carry our voices for a far distance and maybe we can find somebody to help us. So as they're folding up the balloon, he leans over the basket and yells out, Hello, where are we? And they hear the sound echo several times. About 15 minutes later, they hear an, a voice echoing back. Hello, you're lost. So the other man in the balloon says, You know, that was a mathematician who answered us. Puzzled, the first man says, How do you know that? Well, he said with three words, Hello, you're lost. So the other one answered, well, there are three reasons. First of all, it took a long time to answer. Second, the answer was absolutely right. We are lost. And third, his answer was totally useless. Thank you for joining us today. Have a great day and may the power of math be with you.